We think of Malta entirely as a fortress. We think of Valletta as an embattled city that shares the terrible fame of Rotterdam and Warsaw and the great cities of Britain as a major target for air bombardment. All that is straight and true thinking. But here for a change is Malta in the lighter side. A day of relaxation and rest for heroes ashore after the historic battle of the convoy. It isn't by any means a safe haven that they've reached. This Mediterranean island is never allowed to forget that it stands in the very center of a battleground. But it's good to see that even on the edge of the biggest bomb crater on the island, these resting warriors can pose for the camera like a group of happy holidaymakers. This ak, -Ak gun has just been in action. A lull gives the crew an opportunity for a light but succulent luncheon. take a turn at sightseeing, conducted by the padre around the famous church of the ancient capital. Living so close to the realities of life and death gives new meaning to the old enduring faith of men. And across the square there is military diversion in the music of a garrison regiment. One of the big attractions is the command fair. Lord Gott, the governor of Malta, was paying a visit to watch the services boxing in aid of the Malta convoy fund and the football matches between a local 11 and the merchant navy. We won't mention the score because the seamen got a wallopy, but only because the goalkeeper mistook the ball for a bomb and ignored it. Still, they both enjoyed the band. As you might expect, the people of Malta are grand hosts. There's always a welcome for the men who are keeping the island supplied with the means to carry on. The palace of the Marquis and Marquesa Cicluna always has a wide open welcome. Tennis, bathing and tea and good fellowship and pleasant conversation are priceless things in the intervals of total war. What a contrast to the usual Malta picture, but it does you good thinking how well they deserve it. In return for the tea and the company, the Marquis is able to enjoy a cigarette, a not too common luxury for Malta. And a very pleasant afternoon ends with a dance. Until the time comes to say farewell to this pleasant place with its hostess of such vivacious personality. Relaxation and rest, rare and precious gifts in this little land from which war is never absent for long, with its almost continuous air attacks and the ever-present menace of assault from the sea. This has been the pleasant sequel to the arrival of those ships in harbour at Valletta to the days and nights of hell through which this little fleet, navy and merchant navy ships, came with honorable scars, when the tanker Ohio was set on fire and yet reached her port. 